Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I had to give you a sneak peek of this really cute Instagram inspired look. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey, 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 it's time to slay. I finally got my hands on this wig. I seen this wig a little while ago, and I just loved this tie-dye look. Uh, this is a 13 by 4. She has a comb on either side and one big comb in the back. Uh, get into those colors, okay? Just Don't it just give you, like, real fruit loops, you know? You know? Real toucan sound and whatnot. Okay, all right. So, um, I decided to style this with my hot comb, um, cause I'm, I'm on punishment, y'all, like, for real. When it comes to these, you know, new wigs and the different fibers, uh, that they're using now, girl, I'll be, like, burning straight through my wig sometimes, or, like, really kind of causing heat damage, so, uh, I find that, you know, like doing it with the the hot comb is a little bit better it ain't the hot comb back in the day baby you know that your grandma or your mama you know used to put on the stove and boil all you know all your kitchen and whatnot no <laughs> but um it gives just enough uh, you know enough heat in order to still get the job done but without damaging the hair now i still pull out my blow dryer when i need it but you know, I really, really like the lifts that I was able to achieve. And, um, and I was, you know, glad that I, you know, didn't damage the hair because I used the hot comb, okay? <laughs> so, um, I decided to do a really, really big, um, uh, baby hairs. You know, I just, I just been all my big baby hair stuff. I just have. And, um, you know, it was really easy to kind of melt it in place, you know, with this hot comb. Um when i try to style my uh sideburns they really don't like come out that good unless i bend them with heat first and i find that you know sometimes i gotta cut them in shape so they can be like that perfect sharp you know too so i went ahead and i did the same baby hairstyle on the other side i kind of combed uh the bangs into the rest of the hair to kind of showcase that beautiful tie dye dye job um and have those beautiful colors front and center um i got some inspiration from some really cute styles i've been seeing from the uh instagram girlies uh with the braids i want to you know try it out on this look because i just was like oh my god you know i want to keep those beautiful colors front and center but i also wanted to not just get boring and blah because it just is so black in the back <laughs> with all the rest of the black hair or whatever because the color is only in the front so i decided to do some braids on e well two braids one each on either side and i fluffed it out as you can see and it came out so so pretty so cute oh she's everything y'all and look oh my god like styling on the wig head it just don't you know it just it don't it don't hit until you put it on your head and once i put it on y'all i just was like oh i love it you know and it's like if it's too much color you could bring your fingers through it and tone the highlights down but i love it i love everything that she gave stay tuned to more commentary Hey y'all, Jason and Shay here, and I'm back to show you ladies, you already know, a really cute wig, okay? She's colorful, okay? She's giving real, like, rainbow power. Yeah, whoo, all right, that's great. So, who is she? She is Nadia, okay? She is made by Zuri Sis. Uh, she is a part of their prime human hair mix. Um, a lot of wigs, uh, you can just say human hair blend. So hopefully this wig stands the test of time and lasts a little bit longer than your standard issue synthetic wig. She has a 13 by four uh, lace parting space right here as you can see. So you can part her four inches bank and I think I got her parting all the way bank and it's 13 uh, across the forehead right uh, and i do have her ear to ear okay uh let's see and i have her in the color on the back 
Uh, that's the FFT tie dye, which I'm really, really just, I can't wait to get into what I think about this color. Um, and the color on the front is real cute too. So if she like really holds up and like just, you know, gives me everything that I need out of a, you know, expensive wig or a more higher end wig, you girl might have to visit these colors and you know get some more you know just to see you know you know what I'm saying all right yeah so she is pre tweez and all that goodness you know you know so before we get into all of this stuff you know whether I like her uh what I didn't like about her and all that uh let's get into her details right here let's get into her 360 right here Okay, let's get into some pros from Miss Nadia because I don't want to keep out here as long as I'm going to be here editing. <laughs> okay, uh, pro number one, I like the color, y'all. The color is cute. Um, I've always liked rainbows ever since I was a little girl, so it's actually pretty cool to like have it in my hair, you know? And um, yeah, I love it. Um, for ladies that are afraid of color, especially like a whole bunch of colors, I love how subtle it can get, you know, depending on how you curl the hair. If you don't want all this color to show, um, there is a way you can kind of like, you know, comb it down like this to where only a little bit shows when it hits the light, you know, so it just don't be so much you know rainbow color just bow right there in your face um but that's the whole point of getting this wig in this color is for the rainbow tie-dye mix um that's featured and i love that the curl is really pretty that's my next pro so pro number two is definitely this curl um i i like the cut but i think i'm gonna get into the cut once we get into the cons um, but the curls, the curls is like these big juicy barrel curls, you know, and, uh, you know, you can play with them, you can keep them tight, or you can, you know, uh, comb them out into your heart's content and desire, okay? For my third and final pro, the hair texture is really nice. Um, it's not that silky, fake, uh, obviously fake, uh, Party City mix that Zuri sis be liking to give you with most of their wigs, um, it actually feels really good. Like, it actually feels like I can believe that this has some type of human hair mixed to it. Um, it's like I'm actually buying that. Like, I'm actually believing that they mix a little bit, a la dab of doula, of some human hair in this in order to you know give you this really soft um and really more like natural feel to it even though it's like buku shiny and it could be because it's black hair and your girl don't really do black hair <laughs> uh even though i probably should it's just i don't know to me it's just um you know Black hair, dark hair, it kind of just washes me out, made me look pale. I know that's weird to say for a black person, but I don't know. Just, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so uh, I like the texture. I like the texture of the hair, and um, it's very full. It's given just a really voluminous, like, you know, like look to where it really do look like I went and I got somebody you know, to put some bundles in and somebody to give me this really pretty tie-dye, you know, uh, color mix or whatever. I'm gonna get it back together and get out your face with these pros. I think that's it for the pros. Uh, let's get off into the close-up. Your favorite part of each and every one of my videos. Let's get into it where I get this, you know, tie dye back together. Let's get into this color once again. Yeah, I like I said, I don't really do colors and I damn sure don't do flamboyant colors, but y'all, like it just being face framing and right there like 
in the lips and the bangs is just giving me everything it really is and on it's black and then it's like burst of color like on both sides it's giving me my rainbow life i'm just i'm feeling it i really am so yeah um i decided to get really big and dramatic with the baby hairs um because it's a 13 by 4. y'all already know <laughs> when i get a 13 by whatever i get my arrogant not tay on but arrogant shay on <laughs> okay right um and i just you know i love 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 the way that this lace just you know blended so good now i have been having this wig on for probably about mm, three days and it you know i've been having it tied up i've been working out i've been doing stuff in it sleeping in it uh, I put it on to go somewhere and, you know, plans quickly changed. And so I kind of just been having it tied up and having the little braids, you know, that I put up in there tied back. So it's kind of like, you know, my braids kind of got bent up. But I like that, though, because before, they, you know, because it's synthetic hair, even though it's supposed to be human blend. It was kind of straight, but now it kind of bends into the curl and it kind of sits on the barrel curl a bit. And now it looked like I did that on purpose. And I actually like that because it's cute. <laughs> you can still see them and appreciate how cute they are. And all I did was uh, braid it backwards and then pull it apart. That's what all the Instagram girlies are doing these days. So I wanted some of them. I wanted some of that. So I did that. So let me show you the ear to ear baby hair. And like I said, I have been having it on for like three days. It got a little curl right around the uh, sideburns, which that happens to me a lot. Um, and I think it's because um, I got a big old head and I don't do the ball cap method because who wants to do that? I don't want to do that. Do you want to do that? We don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I know I don't want to do that. So anyway. Um, and it tends to pop up the longer I have it on, but this part always just stays laid, okay? It just stays laid and it obeys and it blends and it melts and it gives me everything that I want and more, right? The baby hairs, um, were enough, but I added some more. So I kind of did cut a little bit of the color, um, the tie-dye color hair. But it didn't really mess nothing up because you can't really see the color mixed into there. So I was still able to achieve the big, dramatic baby hair look um, without, you know, the color of this tie-dye being mixed all into the baby hair. And I like that because it just, it allows this part of the hair, which is the star of the show, to just stick out and just like be center stage like it deserves to be. Um, and like I said, ladies, if y'all are afraid to do color, this is a perfect colorful wig to go to because it's mostly black and you only have the featured color in the front. Um, I kind of like wished it just was a little bit more showy like she has it. But then again, I'm kind of not mad at that because some people want like boom, bow, color. And some people want eh, a little color here, a little color there. So I think it's the perfect mixture of flamboyant color as well as like every once in a while when you, you know, play in it and it falls differently, it either, you know, tones down that color or it either makes it pop. So you never know what you're going to get, you know. Um, with that, ladies, I'm going to go ahead on and get out y'all face. Close up over. I'm gonna get out your face. So let's get into some cons for this leg, and then I'm gonna get into the rating. And you already know I'm gonna let you ladies go. Uh, I had to get off camera after the close up to fix it back and get these colors back front and center. So it is a little work to get the tie dye colors to sit in place. And that's because what I'm about to segue into, which is the con for me, uh, is because of the way that they cut and curl this wig, okay? So I feel like it's a beautiful cut. It's really pretty. But I'm just not feeling 
the choppiness of the bangs and I'm not feeling the curl. Uh, I think they are meant to go back. I think the bangs are meant to do that, you know, and kind of fall back and, you know, look cute. And they even fall back like right here and kind of looking cute. So because I wanted to wear it in the straight part and this is the 13 by 4 and I could wear it any way I want to. Um, you know, I could have wore it on the sign, you know, with more of it like this. Would it look cute? Yeah, I could have wore it, you know, on either side, but I really wanted to do this pretty, cute, uh, Instagram inspired uh, braided look. And it just looked really pretty in this here uh, straight part. Uh, so you really are, you know, able to see the way that it is cut, the bangs are cut and curled. And I'm not really feeling the choppiness and just the, you know, kind of old fashionedest kind of old fashioned -y looking kind of way it's cut. Uh, she does shed, uh, she does tangle, but it's not profuse. I'm only getting that because I had to comb her out and play with the curls just to get them back in place. But I am getting a few strands. This is what I've gotten so far. And I probably would have got more than that if I would have been like combing her out and like fooling with her. But like I said, y'all, i just been, you know, wearing this wig for the past like three days and having her like pent up. So I really haven't gotten to really wear her down and really see how she interacts with my clothes and all that. So yeah, I'm I'm still deliberating on what the final rating for this wig is going to be. Even when I do provide a rating for her, it's definitely going to be, you know, with that in mind, right? This is kind of going to be like the third kind. The by 4 isn't the problem, you know, because like I said, it looks really cute. It looks really natural as far back, you know, as it as it went. But I have a 23 inch noggin, okay, so it's pretty big A. And uh, I kind of find that she doesn't go completely ear to ear. My ear is right there, and I needed this sideburn to at least be like right here and hang back. But she like kind of stopped like right here adjacent with my temple on both. Well, on the side, she's a little bit lower, but you know just to keep that part you know directly in the middle of my forehead um she's a little off she still comes short so i don't know if i should have measured it with a ruler to, to see if it really was 13 inches but for you smaller head girls y'all not gonna have a problem with that but for me i ran into it not fully giving me that you know uh sideburn to sideburn coverage that i was expecting ordering a 13 by 4. There is a few, uh, I want to say this, this wig is not thin, um, and I like that, but there is a few flyaways up here at the top in the back, and that's because where the closure meets the rest of the hair, um, there, you kind of can feel a few tracks if you really feel it. And if I'm back there, you know, you, I don't know if you'll be able to, you know, to see it. Like, I don't know if I can, you know, like when I hold a mirror to see how the back of the, you know, hair looks, I don't know if I'll see the, the, the tracks. I'm hoping that I don't. It really don't feel like that I would, but she is a little skimp back there. And when you do bring your fingers, you know, down the hair to straighten it out or, you know, put some hair in the back so it can hang, you kind of do feel a few bunched up tracks. What do I rate Nadia? Hmm. I rate her an eight. Yay! Woo! Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, I rate her an eight. And um, I wanted to rate her something higher than that because I've only been wearing her for three days. I don't want to rate her anything higher because I feel like um, she hasn't really gotten a chance to like show me why her rating should be even lower than the eight. But I feel like if I rated her anything lower than the eight, um, without wearing her, you know, um, down and, and, you know, just seeing how she acts on clothes and stuff like that, I, I'll kind of be cheating her as well because it's like, she's cute. She's serving. She's giving, 
what I really was hoping to get when I chose to order this color uh, in a FFT tie-dye. Um, she is just really, really cute. Uh, she's giving, you know, different, and that's pretty much the goal uh, that I wanted to accomplish with when ordering this wig. And I, I feel like I accomplished that. Um, and I also feel like she is just more than enough hair and more than enough parting space with the 13 by 4 laces, uh, uh, lace front. You know, she's more than enough part of face to get creative. I could have put her in the updo if I wanted to. Um, you know, I could have put her in the side part on the right or left side. You know, but just in this, you know, style that I chose to, you know, put it in, she is just really giving me my splash of color and just black, you know, hair life all at the same time. <laughs> um, like I said, I rate her at eight uh because i you know still need to see how she holds up over some more time uh sh that eight is subject to change so just keep that in mind when y'all decide to order her as well um but yeah ladies i think that is it thank y'all so much for watching my tutorial and wig review for miss nadia don't forget to like share and subscribe and also don't forget to follow your girl on instagram at juicing the shade as well bye